stop, stop, stop. You know what is happening there, guys? Do you guys know what is happening there? Of course, your countrymen are looking for miracles. Your countrymen are looking for miracles through the car. The car that the man of God used or whoever used the car. So the car now has become the source of miracle. See how people are killing themselves to, just to get miracles? Because one man of God or whoever has entered the car and because the man of God was in the car, now miracle time has come. Can you show it again? Somebody, stop, stop, stop. Somebody will say this is, uh, this is what they call it. They will say this is because of poverty. No, it's not because of poverty. It's because of religion. It's because of religion. It is religion that is driving people crazy. It's because people have been taught to seek for the hands of God rather than the face of God. That is what religion does for you. It is religion that has taught them that miracles is what matters. Not principles, but miracles. Let's hear some stories here. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Prosper Igwe. I joined this commission 18 December 2004. And when I was joined this commission, nothing was with me. God continued to turn in and turn in and turn in me till it came to Shiro 2012. Before Shiro 2012, I started praying consigned Shiro by a prayer. Came to October. The Lord called me. My daughter, what are you asking for, Sheila? I said, nothing yes, that father. He said, ask for the double portion of your mentor. And as I continue praying, came to children and serve, behold, it was double portion team announced by my papa. And I continue praying. Came to March, God called me, he said, my daughter, walk with me and I will bless you. And I start engaging in soul. Came to March, God gave me a walk. As, as I walk, I sold my first salary as my fourth increase. That much, God gave me a bedroom flat of my own. Came to October, God gave me a big shop of my own. He called me, he said, my daughter, even if you are rich in 70 years, it will not be late, but you are not rich. Keep on, I am your father, I bless you. That's why I stood in this very altar to return the glory to the God of this commission. Let's repeat that again. I must explain some of the things to the people because it's horrible what is happening in Nigeria. Yes. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Prosper Igwe. I joined this commission 18 December 2004, and when I was joined this commission, nothing was with me. God continued to turn in and turn in and turn in me till he came to Shiloh 2012. Before Shiloh 2012, I started praying consigned Shiloh by a prayer. Came to October, the Lord called me. My daughter, what are you asking for, Shiloh? I said, nothing yes, that father. He said, ask for the double portion of your mentor. And as I continue praying, can stop, you stop, stop, stop. Beyond... You see the lie people are buying into? That God told her, God came to her to ask for the double portion of his, of her mentor. So that is the Oyedepo. This Shiloh is Oyedepo something. You know, people are just talking without even realizing what they are saying. If she got the double portion of Oyedepo, where is the manifestation? 
But all the things she got is all burning born, born, down to the fact that she got her problems resolved. She got some blessings. She got some, It's all about blessing. You see, it's not about serving God and seeking the kingdom of God. It's all about what I could get. This is about seeking the hands of God rather than seeking the face of God. Continue. The double portion of the mentor, and as I continue praying, came to Jerusalem and himself. Behold, it was double portion team announced by my papa, and I continue praying. Came to March, God called me, said, My daughter, walk with me, and I will bless you. And I started getting in soul. Came to March. God gave me a walk. As, as I walk, I sold my first salary as my fault increased. That much, God gave me a bedroom flat of my own. Kent October, God gave me stop, a stop, big stop, shop stop, stop. of my own. Wait, wait, a little bit backward. More, more. Yeah, say it again. Kent October, the Lord called me. My daughter, what are you asking for, Sheila? I said, nothing yes, that father. He said, ask for the double portion of your mentor. And as I continue praying, came to Jerusalem and himself, behold, it was double portion team announced by my papa. And I continue praying. Came to March, God called me, said, my daughter, walk with me and I will bless you. And I started getting in soul. Came to March, God gave me a walk. As, as I walk, I sold my first salary. So, so so this is testimony in Nigeria. I, God gave me a walk. As I walk, I sold my first salary. You know, that is first fruit, they call it. She sold her first salary. All for more miracles. So all the double portion she's been talking about of their father, of the papa that they got, is to get the job. And then to sow the first salary. You see, this is all miracle in Nigerian church. This is all what the manifestation of God is. God's hands. It's about seeking God's hands. It's not about getting to know God. Okay, go ahead. My first salary, as my fault increased, that much God gave me a bedroom flat of my own. Kent October, God gave me a big shop of my own. He called me, he said, my daughter, even if you are rich in 70 years, it will not be late, but you are not rich. Keep on, I am your father, I bless you. That's why I stood in this, this very altar. You see, you, you, see the, you see the impression these people have been giving. That relationship, anything, you, God is only for you to bless. I will bless you. God is only for blessing. So what did God do? God appeared to him. You see, you, in fact, the way God is talking to her, as if God is living in the same house with her, or God is her neighbor. God came to me. God said this. God said this again. And then the way God said, God said, I, I will bless you. So he gave her a shop. So that's what, that's the double portion of the anointing. And that's all, the, all these trips that God has been taking to go and see her is all because of that shop and because of the first fruit she has given to the church. Ah, oh God. Is there anything else you want to say? The God is the God of this commission. It's all about the God of that commission. This is the famous Nachi Lake that has been a... What, what? <laughs> ah, the wow for Nigeria. So some people now are being brainwashed towards that same Shiloh. Shiloh something. Because it's all about seeking God's hands rather than seeking his face. You see what is happening in Nigeria. It's all about miracle, miracle. People don't, pastors are not teaching you about getting to know God. It's about seeking the hands of God rather than getting to know God. Let's see another ridiculous instance here. Materialized a few weeks ago in a community in Enugu State that Southeast Nigeria has been turned into a mecca of sorts by miracle seekers. The lake is believed by many to have healing powers. TBC News correspondent Carl Afoye one of, was one of the latest visitors to the lake. He tells us more. This is the famous Nachi Lake that has been attracting thousands of miracle-seeking people daily since it materialized on November 11, 2013. The vehicles that bring people daily from far and near to the lake are usually in hundreds. Funny enough, 
the Machi Lakes water is not like any other lake water you may have seen. It is thoroughly dirty and its smell is overpowering. However, this does not deter people who besiege it daily with one health challenge or the other from diving into it. You see what is happening, my guys? You see what is happening? Why won't these people do this after the GOs are using comp and share? Why will you blame people? It's, it's not because of the superstition alone, but because of the superstition that the pastors have preached. Because of the superstitions from the pastors. These people are getting themselves sick. They are damaging their health. They are ruining their lives more by going to these kind of places. Can you imagine how many diseases there are there? Can you imagine how, many, many, how much infection is there? People have just been brainwashed because people have been told to, not to see God, that God is everywhere. God is not omnipresent to them. God is not omnipresent. God is not their father. It is now about miracle. So they are doing madness, mad thing, mad. Crazy stuff just in the name of getting miracles. It's just crazy. And nobody is stopping this. It's madness. People are so gullible. People's minds have been messed up. People's minds have been messed up. And all of them, with all their diseases, are entering the same river. Dirty river. I mean, it is outrageous. You see, this is because they want to get something from God. Whenever you are looking for the hand of God, this is what you get. You get madness. It is all about the hand of God. When you focus on the hand of God, you want miracles, this is what happens to you. Instead of the people focusing on the face of God, on knowing God, because our churches are not even preaching knowing the face of God. Our churches is all about the hands of God. Ignorance is what our churches are selling. Our churches are selling ignorance. And greed. This is what greed will do for you as well. This is what greed has done for our people. But I want to tell you that greed like this is not just in Africa. Anywhere you see greed, people become animal. Greed, seeking the hand of God, will turn you to a greedy person. Seeking the hand of God will turn you to animal. You reduce your, human, your, your, your humanity. You reduce the human nature in you, you know, into, let's just the, some the, the, uh, the crowd, you know. You know, the, you reduce the human nature in you. You reduce your own humanity to, yeah. You see what is happening here? Let me show you another video here. See this video here? Let's see. <laughs> You see what is happening here? Oh, this is in America. This is not in, in Nigeria. This is in America, and these are white people. Now, these, are, these people are not going for miracle because the white Americans, thank God, at least, they are not expecting miracles because miracle is not concrete enough. They cannot be deceived like that with the miracles, although you see them in Bedehane Crusades also sometimes. But this is America right here. Greed. If you see what greed is doing for people, even in America, they, this is what they call Black Friday in America. Black Friday just happened this yesterday. Eh? Two day, yeah, yesterday. This, this just happened huh? a, week ago. a week ago. This just happened a week ago. Friday, a week ago. These are people who are looking for, for free, for free lunch. These are people looking for free lunch. They are looking for free stuff. Just because they want to be giving free stuff. Greed. People are dying. People are you know, you know, knocking themselves down, pressing themselves down, killing each other just to get something for $10 or $5 <laughs> for free of charge or for $20. <laughs> this is crazy. This is what greed, the, the lust for things, the greed for things, this is what it does for you. 
This is what it does. And then let's see when they open the wind, the door. Is it, you have the other one, huh? Let, we'll see when they open the door. You see, you begin to see what begins to happen. They will, they, 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 they will really, they will be killing themselves just because of lust for things, just because of you know the hunger, you know, hunger, a lust for things. Lust is a terrible thing. When you begin to focus your, yourself on getting things on the hands of God, on greed, this is what happens to people. And we are, so I just want to tell you that greed is, is, is being propagated in our churches. And it's not just the church. Even society can propagate greed. And, but in, uh, churches is supposed to help us get rid of greed. Churches is supposed to help us to, to, to reduce greed, to deliver us from greed. Churches are supposed to help us to know God, to desire more, you know, uh, more blessings of God, more invisible blessings, more spiritual blessings. But instead of that, churches are now cultivating greed. Let's see what happens when the door is opened. This is in this is this is in London. You see, when the door is open, people become animal. Yeah, you see what is happening? People become animal. They are killing themselves. See people killing themselves just because they will get something for free. These are just animals. People become animals because of greed. Just because they want to get something for, for free, they are killing themselves. This is what happens when you focus on God's hands rather than God's face. Greed. This is what greed does. In any country, this is happening in London right here. The other one was in, in, in America. This is happening in London. They are killing themselves. Just because they will get something for cheap or for free. Some, at other times, sometimes they, they go and give gown, wedding gown. If you see the way people kill themselves for this wedding gown, and it is the same thing we see in churches. Now, let's go to, I promise to show you testimonies from Ukraine. So because people are saying, show us what is church supposed to be. Let's see some. I will be showing you every day. I will be showing you Ukraine. What is our church in Ukraine, in Ukraine like? And I will be explaining to you what is the difference. So that you will see the difference between church and what you are saying now. Okay. I don't know this one. I'm not seeing this one. This is not the one I sent to you. Oh, but uh, don't worry. Let it be. 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 Uh, narcozavistinesti 10 лет uh, тюрьмы. Сейчас уже 12 лет пасты. 10 years What? drug addiction. Сколько лет тюрьмы? Yes. 10 years in prison and now a pastor. Да. Сейчас мы от пастора Леси в Полтавском регионе. Спасибо. Следите. Сразу. О! Okay, let's see this one. How many years were you addicted? 14 years. 14 years. How many years are you free? Six years. 23rd of March, six years ago. Who are you? Who are you nowadays? I'm the leader of the adaptation flat the uh, flat that is for those who came through rehabilitation who came after rehabilitation center stop okay that's what this guy was saying they're asking him i was asking him how who are you so the guy was in the church for five years he was a drug addict in the street we our church went to the street to get him and there are thousands of them you see, these are thousands of people who are like this from the street. You see all these thousands of people? These are people we get from the streets who are drug addicts, who are homeless, who are alcoholic. We go to the street to feed, to get these people, feed them. They are drug addicts or criminals or bandits. We take them, clean them, send them to the center, rehabilitate them, and then they become, you can come and hear what the guy has become now. The guy said he has become a leader and more than that, he has become a businessman. He's having his own business and he has become a politician in the country. He's now a respected politician. That is the kind of thing, transformation that should be going on. This one is not be one or not be two or not be three, but see thousands of people like that. Okay, let's see it again. I'm in social council. I'm Stop. also in... What does that mean, social council? That is government. That is like you know, city council. 
is but the social council is under a ministry, a particular government, either it's a city council or a you know state council, like a city council. That's what he's saying. And he was this is the same guy who was five years ago was played dog at it. That is what we are talking about. That is what the gospel does for you. When you, are, when you preach the real gospel to people and you give them the principle, that's why I was talking about my books. Because give them the real principles from five years ago, somebody who was a drug addict in the street, who was dying, he has now become a, a politician and a businessman in the country. And not one case, thousands. Let's see, let's continue seeing. Ministry of International Affairs. Oh, sorry, stop. Of you see, he's, a, he's, he's in the Ministry of International Affairs right now, Foreign Ministry. So he's a council member in Foreign Ministry, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the country. Go ahead. I'm the member of uh, Home Group of Pastor Sante. I know better than you who you are. How many years were you addicted? Nine years I was addicted. Six years in freedom. Who are you now? I married eight months ago. This is the most important thing about you, I can see. I'm in social council in the Kiev State Administration. Well, I'm the president. Did, did you hear that? He's in the city council of the Kiev City Administration. Kiev City Administration is the city government of the capital of Kiev. So he's a, a member of the city council of the city of Kiev. And nine years ago, he was a drug addict. Six years ago, he got delivered. And he's married, he's, having, he's a business guy, and he's in the politics. This is in the local church. Go ahead. I'm the president of charitable fund. Stop. You see, he's a president of his own charity, charity organization, fund. Uh -huh. Also a bodyguard. A what? Bodyguard. Okay. In bodyguard, it means that it's helping us, helping in the church. I have business. I'm the founder of several building companies. You see? He's the founder of several building companies. Six years ago, he was still a drug addict. Go ahead. I took drugs for 12 years. I am in freedom for nine years. I'm the member of the Social Council in the Ministry. Also, I'm in Social Council. Do you have social organization? I have two social organizations. I'm the leader of two social organizations and also charity of the charitable fund. I'm also a businessman. I have several businesses. And in my business, I have more than 20 people uh, staff and more than 40 people uh, colleagues, uh, partners. And also last year, I started to work with veterans. We influence their lives and uh, we help them. We help 120 veterans. And also, I'm the member of home group of Pastor Sunday. So can you see all the testimonies, what the testimonies are? They were, you know, he was a drug addict as well. Now he's in the government. Now he has his own businesses. He's giving employment to people. And then he has charitable organization. His own charity organization is for veterans. Veterans are like senior citizens. So veterans of the war, these are senior citizens. So his own organization, so his business, the focus of his business is to be able to sponsor uh, senior citizens and take care of senior citizens in the country. It's not the government doing that. It is citizens of the kingdom who are doing that. Okay, good. let's go ahead. How many years were you addicted? I was addicted for 10 years, drugs. And I'm free for three years. I'm the deputy director of social organization in the home group of Pastor Sunday. We uh, entered four social councils. I got married this year. And I'm a wife now. I'm a happy wife. You see, she, How many? she says she has four social organizations. Four. And she's also in government. And she has, she's only three years ago she's been a Christian. You see, this is what the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ could do. This is the real gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you preach the real gospel, this is the kind of result you should be having. 
This is the kind of, I think I'm, I have to be showing this kind of thing, though. The people have to know who Pastor Sunday is and what the gospel can do. It's not even about Pastor Sunday, you see? None of them is mentioning Pastor Sunday. They are only saying they are in my mentorship group. What is my, they are in Pastor Sunday's group. What does that mean? I'm mentoring them to become, to change the country. That is what pastors are supposed to do. Mentor people, and I'm not in their organizations. I'm not a member of their organization. I'm not a member of their businesses. You see what is happening to people. This is what the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is meant for. Let's continue. Hello, everybody. DSA here. I would like us to spread this word together. Let the gospel of the kingdom conquer the world. We only need you to help us take five simple steps. What are these steps? One, go ahead and like the video, please. If you have eight years when you're addicted, number two, um, took drugs you to for eight years and uh, three for five years, years thanks to this church. Oh, yeah, who you are now? Go do it now. I'm number the three, director of the social organization. The bell. Is it the bell there? The director of the social council. The assistant of the member of the parliament. And the member of the home group. Good or bad. And then, of course, you have other platforms like Instagram. I was in three Facebook. years uh, in prison. On your I was addicted for 14 right. years. I am the member of three social councils.